come directly from the commission to council? Oh is yeah. That, um, I mean, isn't that normal procedure? Yeah, that is normal procedure. And the only other times that I've known of an item to be moved to the council um, expedited is when there's a time sensitive issue. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second and on the queue, do you, Council Member Anderson? And then, did you wish to speak? Oh, yeah, I thought there was people before me. No, but they did, they vanished. Okay, uh, I, I'll, I'll just be very brief. Um, you know, uh, th this issue is, is, is not about procedural uh, pathways to getting items before us. Um, this, uh, th this item has to do with uh, a trail of tears that is stretched from one shore to the other in this country. In California alone, the decimation of native peoples uh, <coughs> Uh, has been a horrendous, uh, a real decimation. We're talking about going from populations of 100,000 down to 12,000, 13,000, you know. And, uh, you know, the people who stand up and resist that genocide uh, are, to me, heroes. And um, <clears throat> we need to find ways to honor them and end the persecution of an individual like Pelletier. Uh, it's no question that he doesn't uh, any longer pose any threat to anyone. And the vindictive extension uh, and continuation of his imprisonment uh, is a, a, a blot on this country's history. And that's why uh, uh, Amnesty International and other uh, groups uh, have uh, roundly condemned his uh, his incarceration. So I'm uh, I'm very happy to vote for this. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there an objection to all those present being voted aye? Seeing seeing none. Uh, when Council Member Windraft comes back, we'll extend that courtesy to her if she wishes to report on this item. Okay. So now we we're going to move to the next item, which is on item number 19, the Stewart Street appeal. Um, this is similar to what we just had on the last appeal, but hopefully not quite as long a discussion <laughs> by the council. So we're going to hear from the staff, then we're going to hear from the appellant, and then we're going to hear from the applicant. Um, thank you. This is a um, project that the um, staff is recommending to be remanded to the Zoning Adjustments Board primarily because the circumstances under which the ZAP considered it and approved it have changed. Uh, the request was to uh, reduce a five-unit building to four. Uh, the, build, the units had been vacant for quite a while, and the question was whether those are controlled units or not. Uh, at the time of the decision, the applicant was living in the building. She and her family moved into two units on the first floor when they bought the building four or five years ago and wished to uh, formally combine those two units into one. Uh, since the appeal was filed, she has moved out of the building, uh, has registered the units with the Rent Control Board. So the circumstances under which the Zoning Adjustments Board had decided that they were not controlled units um, has clearly changed. So we've requested that it be remanded to ZAP so they may reconsider their decision uh, with this new information. Excuse me, okay, now we'll hear from uh, the appellant. Good evening. Um, do I have the opportunity to uh, reserve five minutes for you this? You can use your seven minutes anywhere you want. Two minutes for rebuttal? Anywhere okay, you great. Um, good evening, my name is Brenda Adams and I'm a litigation attorney with the Eviction Defense Center. Our office represents the appellants, Lee Tramplager and Judy Ann Alberti, who played a pivotal role in the adoption of Measure Y, a 1998 amendment to the Berkeley Rent excuse Ordinance. Excuse me, excuse me, I yes. misspoke. You don't, you have to use your seven minutes as a block. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Thank I'm you. Sorry. We'll give you a few more minutes, so two seconds at the end. Okay? Okay. Um, so Measure Y is a 1998 amendment to the Berkeley Rent Ordinance, which provides additional protections to certain tenants against owner move-in evictions. Our office represents tenants facing eviction in the city of Berkeley and therefore has a very vested interest in preserving the number of rental units in the city of Berkeley. 
To that end, we've appealed the Zoning Adjustment Board's decision rendering the unit in question a non-controlled unit. Um, it appears there is some consent on this issue, so I will try to be brief, but we do want to address a few issues. Uh, we support and appreciate the staff's recommendation to remand this case back to Zab, based in part on the new set of facts uh, that have just been spoken to. We do think, however, that the council should consider the following uh, three issues and emphasize those issues in order to provide guidance to the Zab when reconsidering this matter. Uh, the first issue that I want to address is the finding by the staff that the removal of the rental unit in question uh, would not have a detrimental effect on the tenants currently residing in the other units on the property. Um, and we feel that the staff report does not adequately, adequately address this issue in two important ways. Number one, it's important to note that the demolition of unit number two will have a detrimental impact in and of itself on the city's housing stock. A unit that has been rented and is actually was recently re-rented uh, will be permanently removed. Uh, to say that its removal would have no detrimental effect at all is inaccurate. <clears throat> Pardon me.